Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sean Shibby here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Just chilling with the boy Nate. We're about to react to Area 51 Frantic Caller. Mm -hmm. um, I have no idea about this. Um, so yeah, I told, I told Sean about this. Um, I'm a huge Tool fan. And I first heard this uh, interview um, actually on a Tool song. And early, they, they threw this interview in from this guy that was that would claim that he had worked a former employee that had worked at area 51 and he calls in like super frantic and he's like hey listen there's you know there's just you have to you have to watch it but it's really crazy we can like talk about it afterwards but i i, I i'm kind of interested in uh hearing what you think about this but it's, it's kind of an interesting call and yeah um, yeah let's check it out right, i'm all for it i i Firmly believe that there is extraterrestrial beings out there. Or so. dimensionals. Yeah, it's, I mean, because... Multiple well, dimensions. We'll talk about that after the video, yeah. but let's get to it, guys. 1997 talk show, Art Bell. Caller claimed to have worked in Area 51. Hmm. Yeah. I definitely think the government would silence over More. aliens. <laughs> yeah. Aliens like, fuck you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you can be the judge. Mm -hmm. chunk of the video that's just like this backup system um, because like the lines get cut or something something happens and it's just like silence um, kind of elevator music going on from the like, TV the news station whatever radio station what's up meditate Gosh, I wish I had this whole music. It is gorgeous. In some way, something knocked us off the air, and we're on a backup system now. Is it the government or 
I don't know. It has to be something, though. Well, did you hear? Now, you tell me because you were listening. That was awful strange. There was a really weird guy on the air when it went off? Yeah. Real weird out. Like uh, going sort of, sort of sounding paranoid? Yeah. Schizophrenic? Like crying and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 And how far into the conversation was it when, when it went off? In just a couple, about 15, 20 seconds. I'd say. Oh, you, like you, you guys missed, you, you really missed a the call then, and I've got a feeling somebody didn't want you to hear it. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it was really strange, all of a sudden I'm hearing Mark Furman when I went That's out. right. Well, the network, the network, of course, went immediately to a backup tape while we tried to figure out what blew up here. Uh-huh. So that's what you heard happen. Uh-huh. And then we're now on a backup link system uh-huh. uh, to be on the air at all right now, so... Well, I'm telling you. Am I on the air right now? You're on the air right now. Well, you better be, yes. <laughs> and, uh... Where are you, by the way? I'm in Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, I called the other night. And, uh... You know, I wanted Michigan, to ask two things. Child of Boy. Well, I wanted to say one thing, and Send I wanted out to ask to another. Real quick, I wanted to ask if you could play that, uh, remote viewing, uh, one when you were in... While you go to Egypt. Yes. And so this is the same guy? No, uh, no, no, no. Oh, so this is the guy. I found the stuff about, like, uh... If it's like the government's trying to put it out there like that, so like some other places and being watched as much. In other words, it's a big decoy. I see what you said here, and apparently we'll be back after the news. I think. Here, but he lost all transmit capability on this end here in Nevada. The transmitter went belly up suddenly for some <laughs> unknown up. reason. I've never seen it do this in all the years, all the years that we've been on the air. I have never seen the transmitter in this way just simply fail, a massive fail, like a massive heart attack or some kind. And so we've gone to a backup system to get si- signal to you right now, and I presume it is getting to you right now. Total- so that's that, man. Uh, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about that? That was very strange. Mm-hmm. You know, um... Yeah, and just for it, you know, for him, for it to cut out like that, you know, um, and it's never happened before. Yeah. Obviously, it's you know either the government or you know extra dimensional beings. They were saying, um, it's it's crazy because yeah, like I, because I was saying extraterrestrial. They were saying extra dimensional. So I, I heard this um, this one uh, theorist. Um, I, forget, I can't remember exactly what what he was saying how many dimensions there are, but there's up to maybe more than 12, and just alone. I mean, we're in the third dimension, right? And then just to think about a possibility of there being even more dimensions than than that. I mean, there's, like they say that, you know, we, our senses can only perceive just a fraction of what's actually out there. You know, think about dogs or cats and the, the, the hypersensitivity that they have, and that we're not even able to perceive, you know, the sound, the, you know, other elements out there, you know, so um, I think that's really interesting. I know coming from like a cultural background as like a Native American, it, it's often we refer to like extra dimensional terrestrials, whatever, as sky people or star people. And we believe that they had um, a part in our uh, maybe creation or we definitely believe that there's some kind of other intelligence a higher intelligence you know and you know when you, when you say it like that it, it makes sense i mean me as, as a christian you know I, you know i believe in god but i do yeah. believe that there's other stuff i really do you know especially you know, when you document some of the um historical landmarks mm-hmm. all around the world like the pyramids like you, you like those right. like there's no way that man could like yeah like i'm sorry like, right, right, right. especially like how like well those like structures mm-hmm. and buildings are like yeah. that's the perfect like, and they, I've heard too that a lot of Egyptians, like some Egyptians, may have met mm. some extra dimensional beings, and sure. you know they maybe helped them or just you know it's crazy because we'll never know what happens behind closed doors, but we can only just give our two senses. But I, yeah, yeah, I, you know from that, yeah, bam, like they silenced them for sure. Yeah, right, then, um, yeah. Is, is, is this guy's show still going on? Art or um, no? I don't not anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's going on anymore. But he was just mainly just a whole. Area 51, if you have some, or, yeah, yeah talk to yeah. people about that. Yeah, so, I mean, there's always, like, some kind of controversy surrounding, you know, military establishments yeah. and, and military bases and um, dumps, deep underground military bases, 
And, you know, just to think about, you know, a couple, maybe like it was like this year that people were like storming Area 51, right? And so it's like, yeah, yeah the, that's where the, run, yeah, mm-hmm. the run came in. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, that's there's always been some kind of element of secrecy and people wanting to know. I, I th- you know, I think as most people, we just want the truth, you know, and there's definitely a side um, that, you know, that we're not getting, that the public isn't being told with anything, you know, anything that's going on, so. Well, I think now people are finally starting to wake up and realize that, hey, you know, you can't just believe everything you hear and see. Yeah. Like, you have, like, there's yeah. more. Right, right, exactly. And I just feel like people are starting to get more smarter, not just, you know, bending or just, oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to get your, you know, account flagged, but I think, you know, definitely with the whole virus and everything people are you know questioning the news more and and not taking things at face value and i i would hope that people start to think about things more critically and well and yeah and the question thing, the thing is too with that is you know um people only hear the the news they want to hear sure. and like because you know i think just a couple days ago or um that paris was under siege or because the terrorist attack happened in paris but no, um we didn't hear about it. I right. didn't hear about it because right. again, it's just yeah. you know we're like the media has got us all wound up mm-hmm. and about this election because it's very well could you know this election could change the course. Let's so. see what happens. But yeah. um, I mean, I'm just gonna keep living, doing my thing. I, mm-hmm. There's not much I can yeah. do to change that. But as far as um, extra dimensional beings, I do believe that, and I felt like this guy was giving us a warning, and then they. Whoever did government or yeah. who else, they right. they silenced him. Yeah, I mean, just from his voice alone, it, it sounds pretty convincing. He might be just be a good actor, who knows? But just from the voice alone, you know, it's a very convincing, uh, kind of couple of, of seconds. It's, My thing is too. I feel like it'd be more the government silencing him, not oh, the yeah, not oh, the yeah. aliens. One hundred percent. Yeah, just like yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Because yeah. again, the, it just. The information. If yeah. you have information, you're yeah. in control. So it's just like they did it with JFK, man. If they could do it to to JFK, they could do it to anybody. You know, it's he was getting ready to disclose some pretty uh, pretty classified information to the public, and, and you know the same thing goes with that Corona um, virus doctor. You know, he, he was he was gonna talk, bring uh, he was gonna bring light to to something. Then he you know they say he passed away from an illness, but or yeah it, yeah just uh, yeah just. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting times right now, for, for sure. sure. Man. So, but yeah, yeah guys, um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you think it's legit? Do you think it's fake? Um, yeah, because um, yeah, it, that was convincing. I just um, yeah, he could be a good actor, but I, I, I would hate to feel someone would do the feel the need to do that. I feel like I felt like this was kind of genuine. I you know, but again. Yeah. we'll never know but yeah guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below and also let me know if you want me to do more videos about this area 51 or just things of this nature in general extra dimensional beings let us know we'll be putting my social media in the description below sean should be 22 sean underscore should be 22 then i'll be putting nates in there as well but till next time hope you guys have a great day sean should be here